Welcome to the Rustic Garden Homestead. Today I want to show you how to make a six-story bug hotel with a toad and frog basement. The whole design here is based on a lot of research that I've done and also to bring in good insects into your garden. Insects will eat the bad insects and you want to supply them a place to live and sometimes they might even overwinter. So you can see that it's six levels and I do have a basement right down there for toads and frogs. The basement is set up with mulch so it stays, stays nice and mo uh, moist and I moved in some broken pots, larger pots in there so that they can crawl into there and feel comfortable. They like to be in a tight space and feel like they're safe from snakes and other predators. Now the whole key to this is it's set up as a two foot by two foot square. This is plywood and I'm going to go over all the construction pieces. This is thicker plywood down here, thinner plywood up here, and then finally up here is another thick piece of plywood. And you can go with five levels if you want, six levels. You don't really need to go past seven. This is about the size that you would want. I use plywood, so if it rains and the plywood gets wet, it's going to warp. So I put foil on the top and secured it with um, contact adhesive. If you find plastic pieces, you won't need to do that. And you can really find whatever product you want to use. You can get bigger sheets, you can cut them out yourself, you can buy them pre-made two by two. The bricks I'm using have holes in the sides. That's for the insects to be able to crawl in where they want. Insects will also nest in there. You may get praying mantis nests put right into there. And if you, real quick, it's one, two, three bricks on each side. So it's six to make the sides. And in some places I added other bricks just to change up the features. So let's start with the most important part. You want to make sure you set the first bricks level. So you're going to put one, two, three down there, put a level across here, and just make, every, make sure everything is nice and even and level so as you build up it's not going to tilt in any direction and it'll be nice and solid. Alright so let's start with the different levels. So my basement are for toads and frogs. Next level and basically what you do is you lay the bricks down you put your 2 by 2 piece of wood or plastic whatever you want on there drop the bricks on one two three on the side and then I just laid sticks all the way across. Different sizes to create different gaps in there so different insects can crawl into there and feel that they're safe and comfortable and maybe set up a home. As you come up to this one, that's a combination of sticks and hay. Just another kind of medium for different insects to maybe feel more comfortable in. And then you just keep layering it. So after this layer, another piece of uh, the plywood would go down two bricks would go on and that's not quite done yet because I'm collecting the terracotta but I'm going to you know I'll slide this all the way back but that's all going to be terracotta pots. Now it would be easier if I did this you know before I put these layers on but I didn't have any. So I'm collecting pots as they break and I will slowly put this level together. In here it's all pine cones different size pine cones that I got from eBay and I just put fronts on them so that you know, this is really where I hope ladybugs go. So they'll go right into here, maybe set up. Same thing in here, an entrance. Well, more of a facade because they can really enter from any part. But you can see the sticks right in there. And it's not quite filled. So I would just take my sticks and keep, you know, putting them in there. If you assemble it layered at time, Sometimes you go up too high and then you put the level, the, the, the plywood onto there and it doesn't lay right. So if you leave a little bit of gap, put on the plywood, it sits a little bit better and then you can just come in afterwards and slide in sticks to fill the gaps wherever you need to do that. So this is the one I'm building right now. It's set up by putting bamboo one way on the bottom and then just dropping in the pieces there and I've cut them up into different size lengths. Most of the size is really two feet so that it just stays flush. Some of them are a little bit longer and you can see that I'm doing layers. Got a layer back there 
And all I would really do, see if I can do this with one hand, is, you know, put in the next layer just like that. And I will build it all the way across. And again, I didn't have the bamboo, so that's why I'm kind of building it slowly this way. If you look in the back, you can see I put bricks all the way across the back. You can do that if you want to. You can leave it open, sort of like I did down there. Because of the clay pots, I figured a bigger entrance would be perfectly fine. Now, so this will all get filled up. If you uh, do it the right way, it'll be nice and square. It's going to last forever, and you have a place for your good bugs to get into. Now, the next part that you want to do is really put in a lot of flowers. You want to put in flowers that bring in aphids, and I'll tell you why in a second. You want to bring in flowers that bring in the good insects. You just want this to be a place where bugs will be happy, good bugs and bad bugs. So right in that space there, I'm going to let grass and clover grow. You can see I dropped pots in. They're just sitting on top. The bottoms aren't even cut out. They're annual plants mostly in there. They're going to flower. They're going to attract insects. Back in there, my spare chives, which chive blooms really attract insects. And then a 17-gallon galvanized steel container. There are holes in the bottom, so drainage will happen. And I'm just filling it with different flowers that I grew, you know, at the homestead. Added in some cone flowers, clematis along there. Those are morning glories against the fence right behind the cone flower. Have a tower from Green Stalk Tower. I'm growing peppers and I'm growing tomatoes in another tower. I am affiliated with them. I will put in a link. But this is a great system for growing vertically. So this is going to be my flower tower. And behind here is some bee balm. So the whole space has a place for the good bugs to live. Lots of flowers to bring in insects. And I told you I was going to tell you about, about why you want aphids coming in. So you do want the bad, not the, yeah, I guess so, the bad insects. But more, I guess, accurately, you want the insects in here that the ladybugs and the lace wings are going to eat. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you have food for the good insects, they're going to hang around here. They're going to multiply. They may even set up nests in here. And then you're going to go out and fly out to the rest of your garden and they'll take care of any problems out there. So you're not bringing in aphids that are going to contaminate your entire garden. You're bringing in food for the good bugs. This is something that you want to set up ahead of time. If you're going to be releasing, you know, a couple thousand ladybugs or good insects, you want them a place, you want them in a place, yeah, you want them to have a place where they can live, but they're only going to set up shop if they know they have a food source around. So I hope this gives you some idea of how you may create a bug hotel with a toad and frog basement. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com.